All right, we are in North Bovey uh, in Dartmoor. Bovey. Bovey. North. North Bovey. Um, it's a beautiful day. It is going to be 18 degrees this afternoon, which is just amazing for mid-October. We're in the middle of, or we're just going to hit Dartmoor. We found a route online on MBR um, called Killer Loop. So looking forward to it, got the Levo, Canevo, and we've just taken some real windy little tracks and roads to get here. And it's absolutely beautiful around here. There's loads of little kind of cottages and little local villages and little pubs. And yeah, it's just a really nice part of uh, England really. So gonna and, cruise it. And two and a half thousand feet of up and down. So yeah. Yeah, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? It's easy, isn't it? It's easy. Easy, 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 easy. All right, we'll catch up in a bit. Just gonna set up and get going. Look at this, it's lovely. There's the pub. And it said turn right at the pub, did it? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, mate. Hello. Beautiful, we can, we can uh, stop for a beer, mate, when we've done. And what's this pub called? <laughs> Ring of bells. Ring of bells. I put these Maxxis tyres, these minions, but there's a downhill casing and they're so draggy. Look at the Canevo just pulling away from me. I would not recommend these for just everyday trail riding, so I've replaced them. I've ordered a new set of uh, just a standard dual ply uh, kind of exo cased tyres because these are probably amazing for downhill, but this kind of trail. Uh, riding that we're doing around here, they're just so draggy. I mean, the Canevo's well off. Look at that, Harley Davidson. It's an old, old Harley, little barn find. Yeah, I think we're just following this bridle path, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got a Choose your lines. <laughs> this new Bros motor has the flex power, which kind of gives you almost instant power as soon as you put a little bit of torque through the pedals. So the older motor, to get started on these inclines was a bit trickier. Well, because you needed to give it a bit of a, a bit of welly. All right, boys. Whereas these, you can just uh, pop a little bit of torque through it and it'll just go. I think we've got to get up there. Well, we have got to get up there, past the cows. Yeah, I know, mate. Right. What are we going to do? I don't want to scare them. Is it right? Yeah, it's down there, mate. Well, actually, let's just have a look. So what about, do you reckon we go through this gate and... Or, or do you think we just walk past them? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then there's another gate. Brilliant. Sorry. Thank you. We started down there. Church, we've done just along some little farm tracks. Done this little climb, meandered around the cows. Detour around the back of the cows, gonna go back on the path. Apparently there's some more cows on the path, so let's get the bikes back over and are we going back over here? Yeah. Let's check this out. Yeah, mate, look at this. It's incredible. 500 well, meters. We've just come up that yeah. and it looks like we do a left. Look at that. Glorious. This one's down this way. Oh, put the chicken line. Yeah. Happy days. Must mean a lot. I think we're going along this. We might have some more 
little rocky sections. <laughs> yeah, you've got a couple of different routes you could do there. Oh, here you go. This is where it gets a bit. <laughs> Just about made it around there. Oh, on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I like this. Looks like there's a brighter way up there. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, mate. I think we'll hit a farm just up here. So if you want to do this route, I'll link the Strava route just in the description below. This is cool, isn't it? Just, mate, this is what I love about places like this. You can just, oh. yeah, the conditions are just perfect. Absolutely perfect to go for a ride. Like if you were to pick any day, Weather-wise, this is the kind of weather that I would pick. Just not too hot, not cold, not wet. Beautiful views. Autumn, all the leaves, all the colours are changing. Just fantastic. I mean, look at this. And then you're going to get a view. Look at that. Yeah, a bit of wildfire up there, isn't there? That's, right. wild, that's wildfire, isn't it? Wow. Cover that or they're burning it on purpose. Yeah. Sometimes they do it, just get rid of the... Yeah. Are we, do you reckon we're along that path? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, up brighter path. It's got to be up over here, right? Oh, <laughs> we are right. Climb uphill to the village of water. The village is called water. <laughs> I wonder what's in water. <laughs> <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but get outside, explore. This may be two miles away from you, or it may be 20 or 200, but if you can get outside and check these places out, do it, because the world is a wonderful place. Check it out. Here we go, into Dartmoor. Oh, look at that. Amazing, right? Awesome. Look at that. And then look at that, yeah. Hi, Hi there. Doesn't need Actually check what we got, I think. I do find it quite difficult just at a glance to find out what range you've got left. It's either five or six, or 50 or 60%. It's much easier than not having the display, but I wonder if it could literally be a, a little LED number with, you know, like 56%. You could just glance down and you could see it. Whereas now, you can check. What have we got? One, two, three. Yeah, 60%. I can smell fire. Oh, branch on the head. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to do this when it's sketchy and wet. And <laughs> it's good fun though. <laughs> yeah. Might be better to have gone down that way. Yeah, we've just done a steep climb through this little wooded area. That was juicy, wasn't it? Now, oh mate, this looks brilliant. Get some good picks up here. All right, we're gonna continue our climb. I think we're gonna head up there. Let's see which route we're taking. Yeah, so I think we just head straight to the top, mate. Don't see many more bikes up here. Although I'm sure plenty of people have done it. We're nearly at the top now. This must be maybe the highest part. Oh, I see. To get my legs up. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that was cool. Look at the view. I don't know if it's going to come out. I do hope you get a good view on the GoPro because, mate, doesn't it look amazing? Unbelievable. I know it sounds like very dramatic, but it just looks brilliant. A few more rocky bits. Taking us back down. The other side of that climb that we've just done. Hope we're going the right way. <laughs> oh. I mean, it is a track on view ranger, so it's probably. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Some kind of path. <laughs> Hello, mate. Lovely. Oh. All right. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, mate. We were going to come through your field, but you're not the most welcoming. Turbo it back. Still got 30%. Quite impressed. Back to the ring of bells. In. Yeah, I think it's open. Yeah. Good rider, mate. Well done, mate. Ride, mate. Very good. Just stop for a little bevy. Needed. Needed. Muchly. It was good. It's all right, wasn't it? Nice little. What I liked about it was there were so many different types of terrain. There was like open plains, little forests, yeah. rocky sections. You just didn't know what you were going to get next, to be honest, did you? A bit like a box of chocolates, wasn't it? <laughs> just, just like one. Just a bit of, uh, at the start, going down the hill in the rocky section was was really interesting, but this like did, was amazing, wasn't it? Smash through it, mate. Uh, absolutely smash through it. I did. Good old Ken. But bail it a couple of times, but and then the last section through the forest was pretty decent too. Smart. But look at this little picturesque town of what's it called? Bovey, North, Bovey. North Bovey. It's absolutely. Beautiful, look at it. Like a typical kind of English countryside village. We covered about 17 miles during the day, around 3,000 feet of climbing. And the ride's about two and a half hours that you can do it in. So it's a pretty good afternoon or morning ride that you can do. You can make a day out of it if you want to stop off and have some lunch, but we had a great day. All right. Catch up with you all soon. Be sure to subscribe if you don't already. Check out emtbforums.com for all the latest news, chat, 
and anything to do with electric bike content and I'll catch up with you soon. Peace out, bye.